big one. Female. Yeah. It's a female. That's a female. Yeah. Yeah, there's no question that we eat, sleep, and breathe fly fishing. Like, I don't ever get sick of taking pictures. And when I come home from a day out, like, I'm still spending another few hours editing photos. I always liked the art of photography, I guess. And so with fishing, it just came natural. Like, fish are such beautiful creatures to photograph. nothing more than I like when, when Amber catches fish. Like, that's way better than any fish I've ever caught in my whole life. I'd rather see Amber catch a thousand fish than catch any of them myself. There's nothing I enjoy more than when, when she gets them. I got one. Oh, got one. I got one. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> This is the craziest day I've ever had fishing in my entire life, man. Yeah, Amber has a knack for catching way, way bigger fish than I do. Yeah, she just does. She's way more patient. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm out there right away. If I see something rising, I'm on it, on the spot. And Amber can sit and watch me fish all day. And then Amber will come, she'll put one cast in and then just crush every fish that I had caught throughout the day. No, 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 fish. Come on, come I on. I knew it, Amber. That's a good fish. Yeah, it's the best fish of the day. Ooh. Here. Oh, wow, Amber. Best fish of the day, hands down. We're trying to go places that people haven't gone and that we're not gonna bump into people, you know, and we have stacks of back roads map books. It adds that like isolation aspect to fly fishing that people love so much. We're trying to just push that boundary, I guess, and find different water, regardless of what comes out of it. If it's like a little, you know, 12 inch brook trout. That's a grand slam. Just so pretty. Oh, beautiful. I hammered that. Oh, lovely fish. Look at the color on them. Great spots. Very nice, Amber. Right on. There goes the one at the top. Took the hopper. Put a stimulator on. I think when the competition really started between the two of us was when we were in Florida. Absolutely. And we were just fishing on this golf course at night. Son of a And Brendan had been casting at this grass for, or for quite some time. And he got impatient, whereas I'm much more patient with things. And he left and I rolled in there and I first cast, stripped my fly, got the carp, and Brennan's dad hasn't let him live that down since. But we, we're pretty good. Like if we'll even it out sometimes. If we see a fish, I'll usually let him cast to it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Probably 100%. Sick, man, sick. Yes, that deserves a deadly for sure. I can't believe, I don't have a wire leader on. How do I still have this fish? Is it's outrageous. Beyond. You hooked him just perfect, too. You got him. That's a slab. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the tail. Look at the color. I would That's say the best so. bite I've had out of a pike on a four-way rod, no doubt. <laughs>
I have to be you know, prepared for the next day or the next week or wherever we're going, so I'm always thinking ahead. With the poppers especially, you know, like, the poppers just came along, right? They're painting them, I love it, just trying to think up of new ideas and new patterns. Five, six nights a week, we're out fly fishing, right? If we take one day off, that's, that's pretty rare. It doesn't happen too much anymore, so. Pike. The hit. Yeah. You know? It's all about the hit, Back to for the, sure. The pike hit that hard, and you just see them in the water, it's, it's like a torpedo coming at you, you know? Like, they're so prehistoric, you know? It's like fishing for a dinosaur, right? Like, I think the coolest thing with pike too, like, is just the way they stalk their prey. Like, and it just decides at that split second that it's gonna attack, and it just opens its mouth, and it's like crazy, scary jaws of fury, and it just attacks the fly. If you can fish poppers to pike, and you can get those fish on the surface, so there's explode out of nothing the like it. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's like someone threw a grenade inside of the water when they hit the fly. Like. <laughs> You know, we have just such beautiful area around here, right? There's just always it's new places to explore, new places to go to, like, and it's beautiful. We're just in at the perfect place. You know, we have mountain streams here, we have the river running through the city, and, you know, the fact that I can share that with Amber, right, and Amber can share that with me is just, it's incredible, you know? We just never stop exploring, right? Whereas We're both creative people, but we operate in such a different way, and it's really, I think that's what makes us we work so well together that way. Absolutely. Yeah, that's cool. We just, we always are having fun and I think that's integral to any relationship is just the fact that even if you don't both fly fish, if you can share a hobby together that you're both really excited about, like that's key because exactly. enjoying the time you're spending with the person that you're going to be spending the rest of your life with is really important. Exactly. And fly fishing is definitely brought us together closer that way, I think. Yeah. Yeah.